All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right, guys, listen, some, a couple people, actually, a few people, more people than I would expected, <laughs> sent me this video, it's from Tom Dark, says, what happened to Internet uh, AJ, what happened, I mean, I, I mean, I'm just gonna do my own investigative research, uh, um, okay, do you think looks like he posted 20 hours ago, this video is from the 15th of December, so I guess he hadn't posted in six days. So they made a video about what happened to Internet AJ. <laughs> I guess they were really worried about him. I don't know. I'm actually going to probably watch Belle Delphine. I haven't watched her in a while. Um, because my wife made me get rid of my OnlyFans. <laughs> I used to have one. I'm just kidding. I used to, I had one. It was, wasn't too bad. Anyway, nothing inappropriate. It was like a funny one. Anyway, let's watch the video. Apparently, I was mentioned at a people. I don't, I don't, okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host, Tom Dark. And in this video, I have a bit of a message, all right, for all of you. A life lesson you have likely heard many times before. And that message is that you don't really know what you have until it's gone, sadly. It's something I had to learn very hard recently, and something that has made me very, very yeah, sad as of recent. And that. I'll be explaining why in this video, all right? I'm going to be communicating to you guys my feelings, my true and honest emotions. Tom Dark assistant, play the clip right now, okay? Play it, play it one last time, for old time's sake. However, viewers immediately picked up on how odd the video was. It was truly more sus than a character from Among Us. First off, he was accused of sexually abusing and grooming minors. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta watch that mini lead video. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I thought that's, I think that's funny. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about someone named Internet Ajay. Or Ajay? AJ? I, I don't really I think it's a J. I, I have such a fucking juvenile sense of humor. <laughs> You know, bad with names. Many of you probably watched it, and if you haven't seen it, then uh, please do, because it's probably the best video on this channel, to be honest. And I had a lot of fun making it, honestly. It was a really good time. And in this video, I basically just talked about this rise and fall YouTuber named Internet AJ, who makes some videos that I think are kind of bad, and he makes some cringy tweets, right? It wasn't a super, super serious video. It was mostly a, a meme video, I would say. But it did have some hard-hitting points that I genuinely believe in, and a lot of people seemed to agree with it and understand what I was saying. The video kind of made its way around the community. A lot of people talked about it on Twitter. This guy, uh, Papa Gut, who I guess is like fat online, he reacted to Oh. <laughs> I don't know why fat online just fucking set the fuck out of me. Um, <laughs> just, I'm also a fat in person. <laughs> I fucking can't be laughing like this, bro. I'm just getting through COVID. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What's up, wife? to it <laughs> i mean i personally feel like some of that was just like ridiculous but also i i it definitely there definitely is some cringe aspects to a J. the video is a little extra but you know speak your speak your truth brother speak your truth brother he seemed to just kind of think i was being a little dramatic and the J maybe didn't deserve all of what i said and fair enough you know, so. he made some decent yeah. points in his response i definitely played up my character a bit in the video oh my it God, definitely bro. was the fucking fat online shit is very funny to me i don't think i can fucking move on from this video okay <laughs> kind of making like something out of nothing, right? It's an exposed video, quote unquote, about someone's tweets. I mean, it's a fucking internet drama video, you know, you know what I mean? Like probably better than most. I mean, half the fucking shit internet drama gone right now is just like, Trisha Paytas farted a little too loud today. So it's like, at least it's not talking about that. <laughs> I do wish that Mr. Gut had a little more to say in his response. I almost feel like he held back a bit with what he wanted to say about it. But you know what? He's more welcome to commute. Not really. There's really nothing else to say, bro. I think I said everything I had to say. Yeah. Communicate his thoughts again at any point, and I'm totally willing to explain more or listen to more of his criticism for the video or other videos or whatever. Augie and the gang also reacted to the video. Keemstar talked about it on stream. And as a result, I made a second video basically just reading tweets and watching clips of people reacting to it. And as a result, I made a second video, a follow-up video, basically just reading some tweets and watching clips of people reacting to it. And that video also did pretty well in views and all that good stuff. You know, people seem to really like both of those videos. Fuck this ass virgin freak. Honestly, I couldn't agree more. Do uh, you want some criticism, bro? Fuck this ass virgin freak. Honestly. It's giving me fucking pedo vibes, this, this fucking picture. It's specifically... The fucking, like, the red underneath creeping me the fuck out, bro. That's it. All I gotta say. There's my fucking... <laughs> there's my criticism, dude. I couldn't agree more. But honestly, like, like these videos did too well. They got too many views. They had too much impact. And now I'm dealing with the consequences of my actions. Because instead of just bullying me back or, or doubling down or continuing to make cringe tweets, right? Ajay just took it. He bowed down. And he disappeared. He's, he's nowhere to be found. His last tweet was from the 23rd of November, which was weeks ago. He's been gone from Twitter since then. And his last tweet was just acknowledging like, like the existence of the video, right? He has not liked a single Damn. tweet since then. He has not.
Is he real? Is it really? That was this really? Did this really hurt a Jay that much? That's so sad, bro. I like a Jay. He seems like a nice guy. Except for Zybros, I fucking hate those. But everything else is pretty cool about a Jay, bro. Replied to any tweet since then. I can't believe he's you bullied him off the fucking internet, dude. Come on, he's off the face of the earth. I mean, as far as we know, right? Like, if you don't tweet, you're basically not alive. So now I'm just like, God damn yeah. it, Ajay, are you in a dark place? Are you okay? Now I can't make eight more videos reacting to his tweets. And what's worse is that his latest video isn't even called the Rise and Fall. It's called What Happens to Bart Baker. Ajay, are you feeling damn. yourself lately? Like, is is this the same guy? Bro, you know, like I, I mean, listen, I've said some stuff about the Rise and Fall. It's very dramatic. But like, why, why change just because of some like criticism like that like there's there's credit like here's the thing here's let me give you guys a little let me give you guys a little life advice here on how this works okay there's real there's there's those criticisms of all kind right there's very impactful criticisms like fundamental like core criticisms i guess we'll call them you know like real big criticisms like hey like this thing you said was very like um bigoted in this capacity like real powerful impactful criticisms that like matter then there's criticisms that don't fucking matter and if you listen to people who criticize everything like if you listen to all criticisms you're gonna kill like your own channel like for instance here's a criticism against me papa got you just watch people's videos you're right i do and you want to know what if i stopped doing that i would stop being a content creator mom just like, you know what i'm saying like oh papa gut sometimes you pause the video and talk too much okay that's what i do like get over it shut the fuck up if you don't like it don't watch the fucking video right you can't react to every criticism or else you're going to start like ruining what the core of your content is because there are people who criticize the fuck out of that. They're like, I hate that he talks. So much. There's people who also love it. And it's the reason I have built my commentary off of that. Right. And if I change my content for those people, my content's going to suffer. Cause it's a, it's a, it's a really it's a criticism, but it's like an un, it's a it's a fine criticism to have, but it's not like a real uh, a criticism that's gonna have a positive impact on my content. You know, you're just gonna hurt yourself. You want to? Oh my, am I getting blurry or is it my camera? You, you know, and I feel like this is where we're going, like the rise and fall of such and such. Like that, I feel like is a little bit more core to his content. Like that's his that's the title of his show. Keep making it the title. The little bit of cringy shit, that's the title of the show. The ending where he gets like a little preachy where he's like, I think that this person should do this, 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 and this to change your life. That I think is a reasonable criticism. That's a that's not bad. But like the other shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, what are you gonna do? Look at it. Look, see, look, he's wearing a hat that covers his eyebrows. Your eyebrows make your videos, AJ. You know what I mean? Like you can't be taken away. You you can't react to every criticism ever, or else your entire your platform is going to suffer. You know, you have to understand what is a real, a good and a bad criticism. With cryptocurrency and his return to YouTube was nothing short of concerning. I don't think it's a good idea to shill small cryptocurrencies, especially because so many influencers have been involved in scams and pump and dump schemes. Tell me what you did with a J. Bring my boy back. And now his hat brim is a little lower. He, he looks a little sadder in this See? video. His V-neck shows a little more of his chest hair. Bro. I don't think it's a good idea to shill small crypto. But he has his fucking braces. Just grow up, dude. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you fucking nerd. Look at this guy's braces. A sadder in this video. His V-neck shows a little more of his chest hair. I don't think it's a good idea. Ah, dude. Fuck you, Jay. You little baby. You got fucking baby teeth. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't laugh. Idea to shill small cryptocurrencies, especially because so many influencers have been involved in scams and pump and dump schemes. Hold on, hold on. I I just got to pause this real quick. No, I, I think that just happened to, to you, Ajay. I think that I think that happened to you. Tom Dark Assistant, roll the clip one more time. Thank you. So all of this starts with a twit longer from Ajay, where he describes his experience losing yeah, yeah, $25,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. to a cryptocurrency scam. It's a very embarrassing post, and I don't know why he felt the need to make it public. Now, Keemstar, being the, the, little, the little rascal he is, decided to respond to Ajay by saying, the rise and fall of your bank account. Yeah, I talked about that. It's kind of funny, now, but I understand why Jay would take it personally. This is a very mean joke. I'm literally coming right now. I'm coming. But honestly, honestly, it's kind of sad. Like, like where where did he go? Did I go too hard in the video or, or did I get way too aggressive and, and, and too mean? Honestly, I thought it was a relatively tame video. There were some hard hitting points for sure. I'll acknowledge that. I, I did go in on people. I remember. All well, here's the thing. Even if you were like, listen, I, I don't I don't really like specifically remember the video. I made a video on it, whatever. Like, bro, you, if, if it doesn't really matter, because like, if honestly, if a Jay changed his content off of that video, that to me shows a weakness in a Jay. Like you gotta, you gotta nut the fuck up, brother. You gotta be a fucking, you gotta, you gotta grow up a little bit. You gotta be a grown man. You gotta take the criticism and stride. You can't be letting fucking people like tear you down off of like, like a criticism video. You know, Keemstar said that I was fat gump and that. <laughs> And that, like, I'm a fucking, I suck, and I'm a left. He called me a leftist. That was sad. 
uh, and all this other shit. And it's like, okay, but like, uh, you're gonna let yourself, you can't let yourself get emotionally distressed off of getting criticized, especially with this. Like, I've been fucking hit hard. Like, on, when I was on TikTok, I got fucking torn apart. You know, I still came out the other side pretty good. This isn't really that much of like a criticism. It was like, it's like, oh, you're a little cringy. It's like, okay. Papa, you shouldn't say grown man. It's not very inclusive. Oh, well, you know, why don't you include this in your fucking perspective, bitch? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just kidding, bro. I get what you're saying, but I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Augie and Muda reacting to it on stream being like, damn, like, Jay really pissed in his cereal. And it's like, well, he kind of did piss in my cereal. And, and by that, I mean my Twitter timeline. And then also, you got to think about this too. The commentary community on TikTok, on YouTube is a bunch of cringe lords anyway. Are you going to take them seriously? <laughs> what the fuck? It's better than TikTok, but. You know what I mean? It's just like there's like a little community of commentary people. Like, who fucking cares what they say? I'm part of it, I guess. Who fucking cares? Who gives a shit? By making all these pathetic tweets. But, you know, I don't hate him. He's not a terrible guy. Here's what you have to do. Here's how you have to operate in life for everybody. You have to think you're better than everybody, okay? It doesn't matter if it's true. You have to think it. Take criticism well. Take reasonable criticism and, and obviously change um, reasonably. But, like, just think you're better than everybody. Don't sh don't show people that. Like, don't like act like you're better than everybody. That's shitty. But like, think you're better. Think you can't be confident in yourself. Be like, you know, I'm better than you. I don't have to fucking fuck you, bitch. And just fucking start punch shadow boxing. <sighs> you know, like you know the people at the at the gym who shadow box. Those people think that they're better than you, and they're cringe as fuck. But at least they have the mindset, so they they have no fucking shame. But <laughs> you got to be the shadow boxer at the gym, okay? You got to be the fucking shadow boxer at the gym, bro. You got to be that person. He doesn't deserve to be hated. Hey, Jay, look, I'm sorry. I know we've had our differences. Just stay away from them because they're usually like the fucking kids with the headphones in. And they're fucking, they're, they're a second away from grabbing a gun and going and bringing it to school. You know, you got to be careful of those people. You know, maybe be their friends. Okay. You got to, we got to stop all the horrible shit going on. I messaged you to say that I love you and I haven't gotten any response in the last four minutes. So I'm guessing that you hate me. You have no desire to talk to me. You're cutting ties. You're going to make an exposed video about me very soon. But honestly, you know what? I'm sorry, Jay. Consider this my formal apology. I want to make it up to you. If you DM me back, then I will help you, all right? Believe it or not, I, I know a few girls, just a few. I have a few in my back pocket who would be very serviceable for your needs. Through weird. the Bunty King female agency, I managed to contact some individuals who are very big fans of your channel, all right? They're pale, they're very thin, and they are extremely tight, all right? They should be servicing all of your pussy. What? Tight? Oh my God, this is getting a little weird. King needs. And they're willing to help you out, all right? They are willing to throw some pussy your way, and I'm going to help you out as well. I'm going to pay for these expenditures. I'm going to pay for the entire thing because I feel bad and I feel like you deserve, you know, some time off some time with a hole or two. As for their genders, you know, I, I can't make any promises to that. Kind of a luck of the draw kind of thing on that one. But, you know, it's better than uh, better than nothing, I guess. I weird. guess to, to wrap up this video, I'm sorry, Jay. all right? I want you to come back to Twitter. I want you to keep tweeting your cringe. I want you to tweet your honest emotions about the world. I think that the community needs Internet of Jay, all right? And okay. just to really accentuate this message, all right? Just to really get this, this, this message out there the best possible, I'm going to be releasing my new single here, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm dedicating this following performance to you once again. And also credit to the band that I'm stealing this song from and changing the lyrics to, you know, whatever. I think it's barely a parody because I miss you, Jay, and I need, be, I need you to come back. I cannot wait to hear what we're about to hear. All right, let's go. And hey, AJ, I hope you're getting pussy tonight. This is a little too cringe for me. And I know you don't feel good when I'm memeing. Yeah, you want it, but no, you can't get it. I got some pussy to keep you warm tonight. I think I'll just skip through this whole this whole segment here. The whole thing. I, I, need oh, good. I, hate I swear I've never been up till I swear. Oh, yes. Thanks for watching the video. Like the video if you liked it. Like the video if you it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. That was the rest of the video there. Okay. Um. Hold on. I just gotta... I would say. But it did have some hard-hitting points that I genuinely... People talk to me. I mean, my Twitter, this guy, uh, Papa Gut, who I guess is like fat online, he reacted to it. <laughs> it's just fucking so funny. <laughs> oh. What's up, baby?